teaching you about the history of music. Music started a long ass time ago, back in Brooklyn. Music can be traced back to Sluzik, which was started when we were apes living in the jungles. Apes in the jungle play Sluzik to this day. It sounds a lot like music, but it's mostly played on pots and pans. They'll play it back and forth across the jungles. If you listen out when you're camping at night in the jungle, oh fuck, your battery's done. Music wasn't invented until Brooklyn was invented. All through the Middle Ages, all through the Roman Empire, we just played Sluzik. We didn't evolve past our ape forms until Brooklyn. Here we are on location in Boston. Since Weed and I are committed to bringing you the top quality as productions we can, we have come on location to Boston to show you where music was born. Music was born in 1942 when the World War II ended. celebrate this, let's give Slusik a real new updo, let's give it a revival, let's call it something new and now that the war has ended, the second great war, what should we call it? Let's call it World War II. Yeah, that's a good idea, man. Yeah, because the great war was the first one, so let's call this one World War II instead of the great war II, because World War II has like a better ring to it. So yeah, to celebrate that, let's do a Slusical reunion. Let's call it music. This is the home of Patty McCline. She invented the first music song. She wrote it on a lute. She lived in a tiny apartment home here in Boston. This is her tiny apartment. This is her door, and that's her house. She was a toad. Patty McCline was followed after by many brave predecessors who were also toads. Toads were really cool. They wrote some great songs. They wrote songs called My Chemical Romance. Salamanders wrote some music too. Salamanders wrote some pretty cool tunes. They played on lily pads mostly, and they performed little lily pad concerts for all their salamander friends. When Patty McCline expired in 1957, her predecessor, Ted, wrote a song in honor of her memory. I don't have the ability to sing, so I have to, I have to say it in poetry form, otherwise I'll explode. And it went a little something like this. Gray. Gray and white. I cannot zoom in or out in this mode. Fuck you. Fuck you. Red dangly thing and the black and the white gray and the gray white there is a T on the tree and Patty the toad you are like a falling star no longer seen in the sky though we know that you were there once you were gray and white gray and white light gray Patty McLean a toad a little toad who lived in a hole oh and where have you gone now up to the great toad hole in the sky where the toes reside after they die. Also, you like butts.